Hey, it's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Welcome back to the channel. So glad you joined us today. Thank you all for your subscriptions, your thumbs up, your wonderful comments. We appreciate it. So I'm here today with a good friend of mine, Yadira Alakan. And Yadira and I have been friends for about five years. Lisa and Yadira and I and her wonderful little son, Keanu. He is the cutest little boy in the world next to my grandson. Thank you. <laughs> Second cutest little boy in the world. So uh, Yadira has a wonderful business here in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. She is a, an attorney, she's also a realtor, and she has the local post office here in town and the YA shipping service. So if you wanna ship things from North America to here, Yadira can help you do that. But today we're gonna to talk about her real estate business. Yadira, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started in this. Thank you, Joe, and thank you, Lisa, for having us on your show. Um, like Joe said, my name is Yadira Larcon. I am originally from Loja, but I've lived here in Vilcabamba since 2007. And uh, we started this business about six months ago. And for me as an Ecuadorian, I felt that uh, we wanted to contribute to the community and provide a good service in the real estate business and basically focus more on fair pricing. Because yes, there are um, other, other people that do this that may inflate the prices a little bit and that's not how we work. We want to focus on providing a good service and representing our clients in a good way. I agree. I think that's an excellent reason to be in this business. So um, one of her partners is Roberto. Roberto, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do in the business. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm born in Vilcabamba. I'm native from Vilcabamba. And uh, I've been working in uh, one of the biggest projects in uh, Vilcabamba uh, from 2005. And uh, I've been involved in many, in, in many activities with the developer. And I learned a lot about the, the uh, community and we create a very nice community Hacienda San Joaquin and uh, and you know and in and, and that time I I get a lot uh, experience with the people who comes who visit and who uh, live in Vilcabamba and you know why uh, why the people come to Vilcabamba why the people come to Ecuador is because we are in the in the uh, one of the best places uh, in the world because we are uh, in the mountains and the Andes mountains, and um, you know, and uh, uh, for 17 years I've been involved in this business, and, uh, and now I'm uh, I'm thinking as a good time for working team with Yadira and Derek, and uh, start to tell to all the people who are looking for a, a, a good. Uh, lifestyle and they want to to live in a very nice place they can come to Vilcabamba enjoy Vilcabamba and you know this is uh, the, the reason we are working and in, 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 in the team now and trying to to bring more people they want to be healthy be happy and in peace and this is our uh, objective and this is what we want uh, bring people to come and to live you know and Vilcabamba. Vilcabamba is one of the best places for live and get a good life. Vivi La Paz. <laughs> so Yadira and Roberto uh, used to work together at Hacienda San Joaquin mm -hmm. um, for since the beginning, yeah? Yes, Roberto started there since day one. I joined the team in 2007 and I worked there for another four years and Roberto stayed on. As I, I left the country, I moved to the US, the US. and so uh, when I came back in 2011, that's when I, I started um, my office in town. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Derek, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you, you are bringing to the business here. Uh, good question. Well, hopefully a lot of passion. But um, so my quick story is I was born in Scotland and I grew up in Western Canada and I first discovered Ecuador in 1999. And at that point, I lived uh, in Ecuador at that time from 99 to about 2006. And then I, came, I lived around the world and then I came back to Ecuador four years ago, specifically southern Ecuador and then Vilcabamba. And I love Vilcabamba. This is my home. And you can, you know, guarantee you can bury me here. Um, I think I had kind of a different perspective being a, a foreigner, an expat. And I have kind of lived around the world in many, many countries. 
So, you know, I do know what it's like, the stress of trying to find a new home, the place to live, the culture, the assumptions we make or don't make. And I think I really add that kind of perspective from a, from a foreigner, so to speak. And, you know, our, our motto is, our mot motto, so to speak, is dreams for sale. Because mm -hmm. I think, you know, I'm living in, in a dream here in this, this beautiful part of the world. And uh, Yudir and I and Roberto, we all work closely. And every day you'll probably see me driving around in my white Toyota truck and looking at land and taking clients out to, to hopefully find their dream. So you are working directly with clients then and showing them properties and... <laughs> and yeah, no, absolutely. And so Roberto, um, you're helping find these properties. Is that your focus in the business or...? Yes, because, you know, I'm from Humble Camba, you know... Uh, you know all everybody. The place. And yeah, this is the, my, my job, trying to get more properties for put in the market. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. And, and maybe just to add to that, you know, uh, Yudira's father works very close with us. Uh, he's retired and he's originally from a farming community call, called Las Comunidades, about 30 minutes south of here. So a lot of the properties that we are coming across are through kind of um, uh, Yudira's father's network. So we're kind of getting, uh, I'd probably say, very, very, very fairly priced properties. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You're probably, some of you may be familiar with the town of Comunidades. We talked about it in our interview with our good friend Raquel. Mm -hmm. Out in uh, community data has a wonderful little retreat out there, right. oh, and we right. love Raquel, Raquel dearly. Mm -hmm. So um, let me ask you something: the people who come here, why would they choose you guys? There, there's so many realtors in town now, mm -hmm. more than when we first lived here. But why would they choose the three of you to help them? Well, I think that um, it would be we make a really good team. We are. I'm originally from Loja, and I have. Well, we are both actually attorneys, Roberto and I. And Roberto being a native from Vilcabamba, I am from Loja with international experience and Derek being from Canada. Uh, everything that we put together uh, brings in a perspective from each one of us that makes us a unique team that I think nobody else offers in town. And with us, you have a one-stop shop because we really can take care of everything for you. And we will always look for um, your, the best interest for you. So I think that's that makes it, yeah. makes us stand out. And I, I think one thing too is that, you know, uh, it is a little bit different here compared to uh, other countries is that, uh, many of the, the real estate companies that are here, which I think there's eight or nine now. Twelve. Like Twelve. There are 12. Uh, there's very few that actually are licensed realtors. Mm -hmm. And Yadira is a licensed realtor. She's gone through all the training. Mm -hmm. She knows all the in and outs. And sincerely, we just want to help people. Mm -hmm. And there's no high pressure from us. This is our lifestyle. We live it here. And, you know, the crazy thing when anybody asks me, the first thing I, I would always recommend is just rent a place. See if you're comfortable here. Mm -hmm. If you're moving from another country, you know, come here. You know, don't make all these life-changing decisions overnight. Come, rent a place. Enjoy. And the reality is, Vilcabamba may or may not be for you. At least you kind of get to live it day to day. Mm -hmm. And it gives you an op opportunity to travel around the country as well in case you like another part of the country. Right. I agree. And uh, we, we mentioned in a lot of our videos that people need to do an exploratory trip here mm -hmm. and a week's just not enough. Yeah. Uh, you know, two weeks minimum, I always say, plan for two weeks and you'll get a better idea of the vibe here, mm -hmm. um, what properties are like, what the price ranges are like. Um, we just got through doing a rental video with our a good friend, Outer, mm -hmm. and Outer, you know, kind of went through rental prices in the different neighborhoods. So I think, um, you know, yes, you're exactly right. Rent for six months, see what it's like. Start the exploratory process when you come on your visit. And when you move here, just rent, relax, get into the Vilcabamba vibe, the muy tranquilo, if you will, mm -hmm. and uh, that mindset, trying to convince people to slow down and yes. start looking at properties with these folks and start understanding what's available and what each barrio brings. Each neighborhood is much different. And 10 minutes in one direction gives you a, a different microclimate. Right. Yes. So yeah. I think, you know, from, a, uh, from my perspective, this is a great team. Yadira, being an attorney, she has the legal background, mm -hmm. so she's going to understand um, all of those due diligence type mm -hmm. things that you're going to need to know. Um, and I, I tell everyone, 
make sure you do your due diligence. Yes, exactly. We have come across, because not only do we obviously represent our clients, the ones that are trusting us with representing their properties, but also the last deals that we've been involved in are actually representing the buyers. Because Vilcabamba, as we said, mentioned, Derek mentioned, um, while only three of us are licensed realtors in Vilcabamba, uh, the other ones, uh, well, everybody does business in a different way, right? But we are um, in this in this market. We only have a realtor that, for the most part, ends up representing both sides, the buyers and the sellers. And so that's sort of a little bit of a uh, what is that called? Conflict of Conf yeah, conflict, conflict of, of interest, interest, right? Yeah. So people, because of word of mouth, people have come to us to help them, to represent them as buyers, and we do the due diligence, due diligence, and then we find that the paperwork is not in, in order. And so we know, we know, that's my job in our, in our firm, is to look at all of the paperwork, make sure that everything is completely legal, and if not, what are the steps necessary to make it legal so that we can make it happen if that's what our client needs, but make sure that their best interests are taken care of. And we have had friends who um, have come to Ecuador and other parts of Ecuador and have uh, signed a contract to buy a piece of property, um, put some earnest money down, and then only to find out that they couldn't buy that piece of property. Exactly. There were problems with siblings, et cetera, mm -hmm. and they lost that money. That earnest mm -hmm. money was gone. Right. So there are so many scenarios, and, and, and we are here um, to help you, and we are here to take care of you. So... Look us up. We are just very close to the Central Square and uh, available and at your service. So we're going to list the contact information for these wonderful people and it'll be in the description box below the video. So just look down and you may have to click the show more button to see it all. But their contact information will be there. If you can't reach them for some reason, reach out to us. We'll make sure you get uh, in contact with them. Mm -hmm. So thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you for thank explaining you for to uh, our wonderful viewers what to expect when they come to Vilcabamba in terms of real estate. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah. All right, you, everybody, make thank sure you. we thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Have a great day.